A Prayer for When God's Great Things Feel Small for You by Chelsea DeMattis. So he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, Rise and anoint him. This is the one. 1 Samuel 16, 12. Have you ever looked at the gifts God has given you or the life God has given you and wondered, is this really it? This one question we mutter is so deep. It's typically laced with worrying about what lies ahead, wondering what you could have done differently, and wishful thinking of what you thought would be. I think it's safe to assume we've all been here, but the truth is we can't stay in these thoughts for long. It will take us to a place of questioning who God is, what He's doing, and if He really wants good things for us. I remember a specific time when this question washed over me. I was sitting at a table with a group of women. They were all highly esteemed with their degrees, personally crafted websites, dreams, and a confidence that certainly didn't match what I was feeling. Why would God bring me here? Is this really all I have to offer in a sea full of women so much better than I? I asked. I felt humiliated, defeated, and suddenly questioning what I knew God gifted me to do. I wanted to shut down, quit, and act like the entire experience over the course of three days had never happened. It would have been easier to live in that reality, but the Lord taught me something else. We all know David. He was just a shepherd boy, the youngest of his brothers, and nothing was set to come of his life in a big outlandish way. Imagine how that felt, and imagine the thoughts that went through his mind at night. I wonder if while keeping watch over his sheep for long periods of time, if he found himself asking God in the same way we do, is this really all you have planned for me? Little did David know, God had many plans for his life. Plans that David could have never imagined for himself. Plans that could only unfold by the hand of God. David's small beginnings and small gifts were just the start to God's incredible future for his life. That said, even if the only plans God had for David was to be a shepherd, that would have been the perfect life God had penned for his days. But because of how his life panned out, we can look to David's life to be encouraged and know that we can trust that no matter what the plans are, they will be for our good. Jesse had seven of his sons pass before Samuel, but Samuel said to him, the Lord has not chosen these. So he asked Jesse, are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is tending the sheep. Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. So he sent for him and had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had a fine appearance and handsome features. Then the Lord said, rise and anoint him. This is the one. So Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the presence of his brothers. And from that day on, the spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David and Samuel went to Ram. 1 Samuel 16, 10 through 13. Here we see the plans unfolding. Wow. I can imagine after this encounter happened for Jesse and his older brothers, they probably found themselves sitting in complete disbelief asking, how could God choose the youngest boy? How could God choose the shepherd boy? How could God choose the one who doesn't look to have a great life ahead of him? This might be how you feel about yourself. Asking how could God ever choose you and how will he ever open doors for your gifts to be used? This goes back to what I shared at the beginning. These questions are fine only for a moment. We cannot stay stuck here because God wants to use you right where he has you. God wants you to see that every single day he is giving you an opportunity to work for the kingdom of God. I want to invite you to trust what God is doing in your life and to trust that he will continue to open doors for you to use the gifts he's given you. It may look different than you pictured. It may look smaller than you were hoping for, but the way it pans out and the size of its unfolding doesn't discount the faithfulness of God to use you. He is faithful to use his children's gifts in big ways and small. Like David, he makes a way in his perfect timing. Trust him with your life and with your story. Trust him when you're sitting at the table feeling like the lesser one. Trust him when you feel looked over. Let him lead and follow him boldly. He will be faithful to use you. Let's pray together. Lord, in the moments when I feel discouraged with my life and question the gifts you've given me, encourage my heart with the reminders of your goodness. Help me lean into you and the Holy Spirit as I grow in my ability to trust you. May I always remember that you created me with great purpose. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. 
If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.